In uh, this demonstration, it is used uh, three pinhole elements with the diameter 10 micron. Two units uh, are used to form a collimator housing. The distance between upper and lower pinhole element are approximately 125 times the pinhole diameter. One unit is used as a single unit for comparison. To demonstrate the effect of sending a light through only one pinhole element, compared to a collimator housing, this is monitored through a microscope camera. It clearly shows that the diffraction is huge when using only one pinhole element. By using a collimator housing with two pinhole elements, the diameter of the light ray is equal to the pinhole diameter. To demonstrate that uh, the, this is a live recording, I will touch the pinhole element with the result that the light spot will disappear from the microscope camera picture. To demonstrate a collimated uh, light ray to illuminate an image uh, sensor, it is used a Canon EOS 6D with an image sensor with the pixel size uh, 6.54 micron and connected to a high definition TV screen. The camera lens is uh, removed and then adapter with a light source is made to illuminate the pinhole elements and form a light ray on the image sensor. When illuminating this single pinhole element, the light ray illuminates many pixels of the image sensor and show a significant diffraction on the light from the pinhole element. The light source uh, comes from a flashlight and uh, the single pinhole element can be seen mounted on top of the image uh, sensor. When using a pinhole collim collimator with two pinhole elements, the diameter of the light ray is approximately the same as the pinhole diameter. This setups allows for just a slight movement of the light source and uh, next to the uh, moving uh, light ray you can also see a few damaged uh, pixels on uh, this uh, camera's uh, image uh, sensor.